Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for September 2nd, 2014. And uh, the day after Labor Day, which was yesterday, we have, um, have reached the unofficial end to summer. And, of course, the official end of summer is, uh, is later this month here in the third week of, of September. But uh, that's when the calendar says the end of summer is. But most of us recognize the period from uh, Memorial Day through Labor Day as the unofficial uh part of summer here but uh definitely the calendar is going to win out this week here we have temperatures that are going to be exceeding uh meeting or exceeding 90 degrees today with southwesterly wind flow out ahead of this cold front that's pressing off to the southeast this of course is going to be accompanied by showers and thunderstorms but i do think this holds off the showers and thunderstorms i think they hold off during the daylight hours and end up affecting uh, most areas in the evening uh may, mostly mid to late evening as you get further uh, further eastward i'll show you that in a second here but uh, this much of this upcoming week is going to be uh, very summer-like, so we've had that now for a couple days, and uh, really haven't had a break here. But normal this time of year is, is hanging right around 80 degrees for many areas, and we're talking about temperatures that are going to be close to 90 in many close locations today, and that have been and will be 85 or higher straight through Saturday in, many, in most locations anyway. So let's go over to the uh, Nam. Four kilometer future simulator radar. This is actually looking for and uh, looking at Tuesday afternoon at at, uh, at 4 p.m. And you can see some showers and thunderstorms starting to form across central PA at this point. And they are going to quickly move to the east here. Not going to be uh, wasting time moving in, but this is actually the evening hours after dinner here moving into our extreme western uh, locations. And then you go a little bit further here and you get over to east central PA, or excuse me, east extreme eastern PA. Well, uh, showers and thunderstorms will be across the area in the mid to late evening hours, and then into New Jersey a little bit after that, and that would be on either side of midnight. So, uh, again, most of the daylight hours uh, should be rain-free for the majority of our coverage area here, and then when you get in the evening hours, especially mid to late evening, is when you have to start watching for showers and thunderstorms popping on the radar, and not expecting any severe weather out of this, but... Uh, this is all ahead of the cold front here, and it will be some very hot temperatures as a result that will not be inhibited by any thunderstorms or rain moving in, because that's going to be after dark. So we're going to go a little bit further in time here and uh, look at, take a look at Wednesday, first of all. And uh, one thing you're going to have Wednesday is high pressure sitting right over top and northwest wind. You're going to have temperatures drop behind the cold front only to about the mid-80s. So you're talking about going from 90 to about 85, you're still about still above normal by a good five degrees. So the only thing that will be noticeable in, the, in in a difference here will be the northwesterly wind flow that's going to come in, which is going to lower the humidity and it's going to make it feel a lot cooler anyway on Wednesday. We're going a little bit further uh, on to Thursday now. That high is going to move offshore here, sitting right about here. That's going to make the return flow on Thursday come out of the south, and then the same deal is going to happen as we get into uh, Friday, except that it's going to be out of the southwest. That'll be our peak heating day again. So we're going to have temperatures in the mid-80s that we fall back to on Wednesday with the northwest wind. Then the uh, southerly winds and southwesterly winds kick in for Thursday and Friday, respectively. So temperatures will creep up to the upper 80s and then near 90 again by the time we get to Friday. And once again, Saturday, too. I think Saturday gets another another one of those warm days here, but we're going to have a, another cold front moving uh, toward the area here. Here's a look at Saturday afternoon. Another cold front sitting right here like this and pressing off the southeast. Very similar fashion that was going on here on uh, on your day on Tuesday here today. And uh, we're going to some, this will uh, probably last late mid to late afternoon or evening showers and thunderstorms possible. But uh, before it does so, temperatures will still be on the very warm side and being on this side of the front, on the warm side of the front until it moves through. And then there's some discrepancies on the models on what happens with this frontal boundary afterwards for Sunday. Uh, some of the models are keeping it close enough where it doesn't really want to push this front through. Here's your frontal boundary sitting here like this. It really doesn't want to push it through here on some models and others it does. This is uh, something we're siding right now with the uh, progressiveness of the front. I think it's one of those deals that uh, this, the front will come through a little bit quicker and move offshore so therefore uh, none of these showers will be hanging around here for Sunday. If it is in fact slower and not as progressive we could be dealing with some uh, showers left uh, left over on Sunday until this front fully clears. But right now keeping it dry, uh, keeping it partly cloudy for, for the majority of areas, the best chance for that to happen where you would have showers lingering because the front was slow to progress would be closer to the shore points. We'll get into that as we get a little bit closer and check out the timing of the system. But right now, Sunday looks like one of those days where we're, we're back uh, into uh, near or below, slightly below normal temperatures where we might get back into the 70s for highs 
as opposed to the 80s and 90s we've been dealing with much of this week. So we might be returning back to that, uh, much more what you would expect for the month of September at that point. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for September 2nd, 2014. Have a great Tuesday.